Cindy Otter here with My Arts Endeavors. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty good. We're going to be working on our ABCs today. And let's see where we're at. We are on our M's today. This M card looks funny. You know what it is? I have a punch and I punched these all out. And some of them just didn't quite punch all the way. So we did L last week. This week we're on to M. We're getting there. All right, let's move this out of the way. So, what are our M words this week? Well, there's quite a few of them. Um, there is mood. <laughs> That's a big one, isn't it? There is misery, mild, mad, and meltdown. How do those sound for words? So I went through my paper here and I just got out some paper and I thought, you know, I'm just going to start playing and let's see what we can come up with. So we're going to put down this paper. And the reason I chose this paper is because to me, when I'm in a mood, um, these colors kind of describe it. So that's the first thing I thought of when I saw this paper. I was like, oh, that's one of my moods. And when I get in one of those moods, mm, you don't want to be around me. Um, there's some days, that, I mean, everybody has them, just bad days. Boy, there's some days it's just really bad. And it's like, I don't want to see you. I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to hear you. I don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Hey, it's true. I'm here with truth and honesty. So I'm just telling you how it is. But yeah, there's some days, um, you know, and I'll even tell my friends that I've met online, I'll be like, you know, I'm, not, I'm just not up to talking today. And of course, then they know I'm in one of those moods and they're like, oh, you got to talk. Come on, come on, come on. And I'm like, really? No, you don't want me today. Trust me. So yeah, this looks like a mood to me. That looks like a mood paper. Now, um, because it's mood on this side and we're going to do some work on that, I keep getting glue stuck to me. I want to do something else on the other side. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. So we're going to put this on the other side because this is kind of more of a bright and cheery type look. So let's put this on the other side. And let's, let's put it right in the middle. What the heck? Right in the middle, right down the middle. That works, right? There we go. So we have our mood page and then we have our front page. But first we're gonna do our mood page. So yeah, um, chronic pain brings with it moodiness. It's a fact. It's not gonna go away. It doesn't just stop. Well, I can't say it's not going to go away. That's wrong. Um, the mood swings do kind of go away and in, in time. But yeah, there's times when it's it's very, very difficult to be a happy, bubbly, you know, social butterfly when you're in so much pain, you, you just, all you see is red. And I think that's what I mean by mood. It's just very difficult to be that happy person. Um, when you're in that place, it's it's not easy. I'm gonna poke my hole in here so I don't forget. So yeah, a mood is a real thing. Um, anybody that lives in chronic pain is gonna tell you that. Another word I thought of was, or another word that um, came to mind was misery. And this is a piece of um, somebody else's art out of a magazine. And I, I looked at this and I thought, boy, that looks like misery, doesn't it? And here's the thing. I don't know if you guys see this, but I do. I almost see like this is a forehead, here's a nose, and here's a mouth, and here's the neck. And all around us is this misery. See it? I don't know if you guys see it. Let me, okay, we need something else though down down there. So let's see if we can find some washi tape. Misery. We need misery washi tape. <laughs> Is there such a thing? Maybe we should make some. Hmm? Good idea, right? Alright, let's put down 
This isn't a fond color of mine, so let's try this one. We're just going to put some ick misery, misery colors on here. Doesn't that look misery? I don't know. I'm going to have to glue it down. And I don't really like that. You know, I really don't like that thing of tape, so that's got to go away. All right, we're getting rid of that. Misery. What can we use? Do, 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 do. Ooh, that was fun. There we go. That's a better tape for this, right? I think so. Yeah, that's a better tape. All right, so we're just going to put down a little bit of tape here just to give it a little bit more texture in the background, just something more, add a little bit more to it. And then, of course, I'll do some doodle work in the background. Okay, so we've got our misery, and um, yeah, it happens. What else do we have? Um, mild. There's days that the pain can be mild. Now, when I say mild, um, it's mild compared to what you're used to. So when you're in the situation where, uh, for example, I live in a seven pain scale daily. Okay, and so for me, seven is, is, is a mild day. The days I have a, a lot of trouble with are the days that it goes beyond a seven when it gets up into an eight and a nine. Those are the higher pain days. At this point, for me, a seven is mild because I've learned how to live with a seven. I've learned how to live with this type of pain and I can deal with it. So again, in my way of thinking, it's, it's a mild pain because that's normal, quote unquote. All right, so yeah, there's days that there's mild pain. Then we have mad. <laughs> Let me tell you, when you end up with a chronic pain issue, the first reaction I had is I was I was highly upset. I was upset at the company. I was upset at everybody around me, and and I want to say mad because I it, I kept saying why why me why why do I have to do this why me why and you know you get you get pissed. I'm gonna be honest. You get really upset and, and you, you try to figure out what you did wrong that you end up in this spot. And you know what? We did nothing wrong. It's something that happened to us. There's not a thing we can do about it. We have to learn to live with it. And that's just the way it is. I mean, you know, it sounds cold and cruel and calculated, but hey, it is what it is. So, yeah. I've gotten mad. I've gotten really mad. Um, for quite a while, I didn't like anybody. I didn't like the world because everything seemed to fall apart on me. And, you know, I had my career and life was good, you know? And then, boom, you're done. It's like, what? How'd that happen? This is another thing of... Um, this is called Fiba tape, F-I-B-A-T-A-P-E. It's another drywall tape. And I just, I love the texture that this brings. So I'm just going to put that right there because I can. Ha! Right? Love it. Now, all right, I'm really into this, making this miserable tag. So let me get some... This is like a midnight blue. Oh, it's called marine. And let me grab a small stencil because I want to put some kind of texture on here. That'll work right there. I want some more texture. So yeah, you get mad. And the more it hurts, the madder you get. And the madder you get, the more it hurts. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but that's true. <laughs> Um, you know, it seems like your anger, your emotions, um, it, it, the, it's almost like the pain feeds off them. So I know it's, it's hard to understand, but be really careful 
um, how much you let your emotions run your pain because it can. It can run it and it can run it right to the ground. So just be really careful and be, co you know, cognizant. Just be aware of that thought. Um, you know, think about it. Like, for example, if you have a toothache, you know, and you want to cry, the more you cry, the more your tooth hurts. All right. The same is with your emotions and your pain. The more you're you're really upset and you're, you know, you're building that blood pressure up and all of that, the more, um, you know, your pain is going to hurt. So just be really, you know, aware of that. I just want to wipe this off so I don't end up with a complete stencil of modeling cream. So this well, that's exactly what this is. This is a modeling cream by Viva, and this one is in Marine. Um, I really like using the modeling creams just because it gives me that kind of oomph of texture, and it doesn't really take that long to dry, so that's why I don't mind doing it on a tag. All right, so I am going to dry this up real quick, and I will be right back. Let me just stick this away. Okay, I'll be back in a second. All right, so see, I just, I hit this with a heat gun, and it's completely dry. All right, so I love those. I love those pastes. All right, so here's my face. And what I'm going to do, as soon as there it is, there's my pen. I just want to kind of like outline here a little bit darker what I'm seeing just so maybe you guys can see it you know I'm not gonna make a whole face out of it I just wanted to you know put put this this shape out here because it just it reminds me of being miserable and I, I just love it. I love the whole concept of it. See that? Isn't that cool? All right, so we're going to put our miserable right here, I think. Um, this, I'm going to have to get a little bit of a stronger glue. So I've got in here, this is pretty much an Elmer's, I believe. So I just want to put enough on here so that it's going to stay. When I put the piece of paper on there, it'll stick. All right. So we're going to put our misery right here. Oops. My pen's smooshing because it wasn't dry. Because this is a, just a cheap gel pen. It doesn't matter that it's not all glued down. I just want it enough so it's not going to come off. All right, so what we're going to do is, I don't want to do it in this pen because I know that one moves. Let me grab a permanent pen. Hi, Abadoo. My kitty cat just came to join me. This is a Uniball Signal. Hi, darling. All right, so... Oh, and then we have Meltdown. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My kitty cat came to visit. <laughs> and she thinks she's just going to sit down and okay then. <laughs> Abby, Mama's in the middle of doing a video. She's like, I don't care, Mom. Okay, no, 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 no. Now you got to get down. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. She's my girl. She keeps me company. All right, so we're going to put on here Mood. We're going to put on here Misery. We are going to put on here Mad. And I'm writing this over the tape. Okay, um, Mild. And I'm sure there are so many more words that we can use. We're going to put on here, uh, mild, mad, misery, mood, misery, mad, mild, and I'm going to put on here meltdown. Now, um, meltdown, 
I have them every now and then. Um, and what will happen is I just get to the point where I just can't take any more. And the pain basically gets to me. Um, I end up spending quite a few hours, honestly, crying. Um, kind of like that boo-hoo, feel, I'm feeling sorry for myself type thing. But, you know, if you don't let it out every now and then, it's just going to build and build and build and fester. And I don't want that to happen. So I just let it out and have my day. And usually by the next day, I feel pretty good. So I love that. What do you think of that one? That's our bad M tag. So let's flip us over. I want to get rid of whatever's on here so I don't mess this side up. What are you doing, Dabadoo? All right, now we're going to talk about our good M's. See, I put some stuff on there. That's all right. All right, first thing I want to do, I'm going to cut off that top. I didn't do on the other one, but that's okay. All right. It's still cool. I want to put something right up here. I'm just not sure what yet, but I might find something three-dimensional to put there. So, okay. So what are our good M's? Let's see what I've got written down here. Oh, we've got music, mental, medical, and manage. We can also use medicine. We can use meditate. There are so many different M words that we can use. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about is music. And I don't know about you, but sometimes when I get in those funks, in those mad or misery or miserable or just plain not happy. Sometimes if I put music on, where's my paper right here? If I put music on, um, I can pull myself out of it. Or I shouldn't say I can. The music can pull me out of it, right? So let's just take a little bit of this music and we're going to use some of it. And we're going to use it to help pull us out of, I just want the notes. There we go. So here's some music. Just this little piece. All right. So what I'll do is I'll usually come into my art room because that's another thing that I use to get me out of that mental ugh, is um, my art. But I'll come in here and I um, have a Pandora station that I can go to. And I'll go to the, I'll put that Pandora station on and I'll turn it way up high. And then I just get into my art. Um, sometimes I'll have my headset on, sometimes I'll just have the stereo blasting. Um, and sometimes I'll just have on a real light relaxation music. It just really, really depends. And by using the music, I normally can change my mood. So this is the very first thing that we can do to change the mood that we're in. Um, I don't, you know, I don't care who you are, but if you listen to an upbeat song, you can't tell me it doesn't make you upbeat. If it doesn't, I'm really sorry. Oh, I wanted to put something else on this. This is my miserable eyes. I only need one though, right? I only want one of these, but this is going to be my miserable eye when it comes time. I can't do them yet because I want to be able to do this side. But anyways, so see I get sidetracked. Remember squirrel? <laughs> I can't help it. All right. So again, first thing I do is my, my music. Um, then the rest of it, I think is considered, uh, let's see, we've got mental, medical, and manage. I just pulled out some papers here, so, um, manage, we all know how to manage our pain. 
whether it be through medical, meaning medications or stretches or meditation or, you know, you know how to manage your pain at this point. At this point, it's, um, you know, if you haven't got to the point of managing it, then you really need to work with your doctor more and say, listen, you know, we have to do something to manage this pain because I just can't take it anymore. And, you know, they eventually they will listen to you, hopefully. Um, but you do everything you can to manage your pain. Mine is ice, TENS unit. Um, if it gets into that 8 plus 9 zone, then it's medication. Um, you know, changing positions. All of that, it all comes together with managing. Okay? Um, another thing is, like I said, um, you know, using the medical to do that. Now mentally, um, to change your mood, or even to just get you get yourself out of a mental mental funk, is what I like to call them. Uh, this little guy right here is one thing that can do wonders for me. Now, as a lot of you know, we've moved. Um, we now live in the South um, versus in upstate New York, and let me tell you. Seeing this little guy come out every day is one of the best things that could have ever happened to me. I don't do well in gloomy, cloudy, yucky weather. I, I tend to feel worse. I tend to be in more pain. Um, the weather down here, everybody's like, oh, wait till it gets so humid. You know what? It's been humid, and I really don't care. Um, I like seeing the sun. I don't care if it gets 100 degrees. That doesn't bother me. That's why we have air conditioning in our house. You know, if <laughs> you know if it gets that hot, you know, go inside or get out of the sun. You know, so this little guy does wonders for me. Um, try it for you. Another thing, not only the sun, but what about nature? Just nature in general. Have you went and out and sat on your back deck and had a hot cup of tea? Or sit on your back deck and drink a cup of coffee and listen to the birds. Um, maybe you're in the city. Okay, so, you know, just go out and feel the breeze on your face. Or, you know, nature. Nature is huge. Yeah, it's an N-word, but we're using, you know, it for our mental state, right? What else do we have? Um, I need to find my stencils. Oh, let's see. We talked about manage. You know what? I want to use this stencil because this is one of my big... Uh, if anybody hasn't seen these before, this is a stencil that my husband did for me because I was saying something about not having um, chronic pain stencils. So pretty soon, hopefully, he'll be able to sell these in his Etsy shop. So that's something that's going to happen later on this year maybe but um, yeah, I want to use it here so here's like I said here's one of my manage here's one of the things I need to do to manage which is my ice so I want to put this down here this is just a couple melting ice cubes that's all it is um, take that watch off it's starting to bug me can't really see it a whole lot can you because I didn't put a whole lot of paint on there Let's see. Hi, Abby. She's back again. <laughs> what? He's like, Mom, it's me time. <laughs> what, Abadoo? She's already had her medicine and treat tonight, so it's not like she's being ignored, ladies. And gents, if I have any gents watching me, I don't know if I do or not, but, and gents. Let's try it again. Ta-da! All right, and now I want to put, um, yeah, we got a positive words. I got to get a thing of positive words. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to do for that. What else can I put on here? I just want to play. I want to play. Where's my, oh, I want my other Sharpie. There it is, right there. I had my hands right over it. All 
Alright, so um, I'm not going to do a whole lot more to this just because I want to keep it simple. I am going to put the words on here. But like I said, you know, I, I enjoy seeing what your guys' words are and, um, you know, what you do about your bad words and your good words. Alright. I don't want to put that many more. So let's go ahead and put our words on here. I'm going to shut that up. So we have music, which we've got in the background. So we have music. We have mental. We have medical. And we have manage. All right. So we talked about uh, on our back side, we've got our misery our mood, our we're mad, our mild, the front side, music, mental, medical, and manage. Oh, there we go. Well, let's do that. That works. Or not. I'm just going to put some dots along here, just because I can. Ooh. Heh. <laughs> how big they are. Sometimes these pens, depending on how much of a mood I am in to wait for them to give me paint, sometimes I'm more impatient, so I have to get paint my way. <laughs> Alright, and I don't want to do a lot more to that. I just want to kind of leave it as is. So let me, um, I'm going to dry this really quick because I want to put my fibers on and then we will be all set for this week. I'll be right back. Sorry guys, I'm just sitting here putting my thing together thinking, oh, I didn't turn my camera back on. So I dried up my paint and then I'm just putting my little taggy stuff on the, on the end of it. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And, you know, if you have any questions or you want to chat, either reach out to me privately or put a comment below. And... Here we go. We got our, <laughs> she's back again, <laughs> our uh, misery on one side and we have our happiness on the other, our good things on the other. So don't forget, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care.